trucking is one of Aotearoa's most important industries, which makes you one of our most important people. New Zealand asks you to pilot some of its largest vehicles day in and out amongst a public who are moving about with their own agendas. It's a rewarding task with very unique challenges. This video is to provide clear health and safety guidelines and inspiration to help you get home safely to your whānau and keep the public safe at the same time. To kick off, here are some key reminders of your rights and responsibilities on the job, whether you're a professional driver, dispatch operator or business owner. Safe route planning is everybody's responsibility, not just the drivers. Dispatchers, managers and customers must also engage with developing a well-planned journey. You'll gain a variety of perspectives on potential delays and be able to build time into the schedule accordingly. When planning a route, if you have a choice between putting less pressure or more on a professional driver, always choose less. Their being in a good headspace to drive safely and make better decisions will save the business time in the long run. Reduced speed pressure also helps professional drivers to calmly deal with mistakes other road users inevitably make. Always check the route is appropriate for the type of truck too, for its size and manoeuvrability, and the space it requires to park, especially for rest stops along the way. Matching the driver's experience to the truck and the type of job is also crucial for safety. Because professional drivers spend so much time in the cab, safety is heightened when they work together with management to ensure the cab suits their needs and the nature of the job as closely as possible. Developing an agreed approach for climbing in and out of the cab is important too, as this is where many injuries occur. Always maintaining three points of contact is a good rule of thumb. A safe truck is always well maintained, with daily checks to make sure it's roadworthy. A range of clever safety technologies have now also been developed for the trucking industry. Push for your company to embrace them where possible and relevant. Ventilation technology in particular has delivered wide-ranging benefits to the health and efficiency of the industry. Essential also are good quality seat belts that will fit the range of drivers scheduled to operate the vehicles. Data shows more harm actually occurs off the road than on it. To reduce harm before arriving, professional drivers should review all the safety information about a worksite, which trucking management, dispatchers and the people who run the site must provide. Key information to provide about a site includes where to enter, exit, turn, park, where drivers can walk, where pedestrians can walk, where to stand when loading, unloading, where the restrooms are, and where to find daily updates regarding these safety considerations. The most common danger with loading and unloading is obviously from falling items. Business owners and operators are responsible for providing information regarding safe loading and unloading of the specific cargo you're dealing with. Drivers are responsible for making sure the vehicle is safely parked during loading and unloading, that loads are secure and that they honour all exclusion zones where they stand. Interaction with forklift and crane operators also introduces considerable safety challenges. A strong focus on communication and sight lines is key in these scenarios. Each different type of cargo presents its own unique hazards. It's up to trucking management and dispatchers to ensure drivers are certain of these risks, especially when transporting dangerous goods where specific regulations must be discussed and followed. We hope you found this information useful. It's just the tip of the iceberg, or should we say, the stick on the transmission. For more details regarding workplace safety and your rights and responsibilities, check out worksafe.govt.nz. Think safe, go home safe. Don't stress, because that's when you start having accidents. Always look in your blind side, use every mirror you've got. We'd much rather have a driver stand down for the night than something fatal happen down the road. 